Hey guys, today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my high school that I made on Sims 4. Seeing that there isn't a high school in New Cross yet, I thought it would be cool if I made my own. So I made the colors around kind of like red and orange um, and gray. I guess those are the school colors. So if you just look around the high school, I think it looks really modern. It looks like a high school in California, but yeah, I wouldn't really know because I'm not from California. So I made the auditorium outside. Then let's just make it be afternoon. So when you first walk in, you see the main office. It's pretty small. There's only two desks for the secretaries. There's a computer for you to sign in, and then there's a principal's office and the guidance office. Then here's a cafeteria. It's set up more like a cafe slash restaurant because it's in the rich neighborhood. So um, the students don't really have a set lunch time. They just eat whenever they want according to their schedule. So it's less like a high school, more like a university, but there's only one building, so I wouldn't really call it a university. And then you walk in and then there's the washrooms. So I made my school kind of small. I thought it was going to be more bigger, but um, since it's kind of small, the washrooms are kind of tight and there's only three stalls in each, um, I guess, washroom. And I made the labs more bigger since it is, um, it's a science and athletics high school. So the labs are pretty big. This is just a classroom for when they're not in the lab. I tried to make everything really modern and really inviting and bright since um, I didn't really like, well, my high school wasn't that like old looking, but it wasn't that modern either. So um, yeah, I wanted my um, made up high school to be a little more bright, more colorful. So there's a lot of orange and red. And here's the, um, the computer room, I guess. And then here's another um, set of bathrooms on the second floor. Again, I made it kind of small, so there's only two sinks and three um, bathroom stalls. Lots of windows. So if there is a co code red, it wouldn't be that good. Be, I guess, dangerous, but. There's some tables for you to sit down, for the students to sit down. Here's another lab with uh, fume hoods, exhausts for the Bunsen burners. And then here's a small classroom. Um, well, it's a science high school, so they still have to do math, English, but it's specialized in science. So um, there's more big labs. Here is, um, I guess, a tech room where they learn te technology and they do lots of group projects. And this is a big, this is the biggest lab in the school. So it's for um, the older students and important uh, laboratory experiments. This is how like it would look like if you're actually in the classroom. And then now to the library, it's on the third floor. I couldn't really fit it in, in the second, second floor. Once again, the color scheme is orange. Um, it's very bright in here. Um, there's a lot of tables for the students to study, a lot of books. 
and there's some computers at the side just for because there is a computer lab downstairs. And then since this is an athletics high school as well, there is a whole basement dedicated to the, I guess, to a gym. So if you go downstairs, and I also made it kind of like a rec center, so during the after school hours, family can come and bring their kids and go swimming, use the gym. But during school hours, it's just for the students. So you go in, there's um, the receptionist desk, I guess. So you sign in and then you go into the change rooms. The change rooms are connected to the pool area, but they're also connected to just the main lobby as well. That's the gym, which the gymnasium, which I need to add basketball nets, but they don't have it in Sims 4. So yeah, so the, this, is, this is basically my high school that I made. Um, I'll put the link down below for uh, my origin ID. And yeah, thank you for watching.